everybody, it's Kathy. Welcome back to Kathy's Easy Beauty. In today's video, I'm doing an in-depth review about the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish Color Corrector. If you saw my video where I was trying on new makeup from the Sephora sale, you would have seen my first impressions about this. I've had a lot of questions since that video asking me specifically about this product, so I thought today I'd do an in-depth review and we can both learn more about this color corrector. So on the Sephora website, the, this color corrector received four out of five stars. I believe that was with 10,000 reviews. It retails for $38 Canadian or $32 American for 2.5 grams. It's available in four different shades, Fair, which is what I'm wearing, and it is a pink shade for light skin tones. Also available in Medium, which is peach colored for light to medium skin tones, Tan, which is orange for deep skin tones, and Deep, which is a papaya color for deeper skin tones. So what is this product? It's a buttery lightweight full coverage color corrector that conceals pigment and brightens the appearance of the under eye area. It gives full coverage. It has a natural finish. The formula is a cream and it's good for normal dry combination and oily skin type. So whenever I was first looking at this product before I bought it, I had heard about color correctors, but I was was never really sure what the difference was between a color corrector and a concealer because I'd never used a color corrector before. I had always used a concealer. So what is a color corrector? Color correcting is a method of using complementary colors, colors that are directly opposite in the color spectrum to cancel out the look of skin discoloration. They are used to target an array of skin issues such as dullness, redness, under eye circles, dark spots, and bruises. So what's the difference between a color corrector and a concealer? The main difference between a concealer and a corrector is that concealers are flesh colored while correctors come in a wide variety of colors like orange, peach, purple, and green. Concealers and correctors are two major cosmetic products that help you to hide imperfections in your skin. So how do you use a corrector? So it should be applied first before your base, then you would apply your foundation, and if you need a little more coverage, that's when you would go in with a concealer. So I've been using this product for a little while now, and I'm gonna tell you what I think the pros and the cons are. The pros, it works. It does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It does not crease. It hides my dark circles. That's why I bought it, was for my dark circles under my eyes. It lasts all day. It lasted eight hours on me, and that's usually the uh, full amount of time that I would wear makeup, and it takes a minimal amount of product to hide my dark circles and it's buttery soft. So what are the cons? I couldn't come up with any cons other than the price. It's a tiny little container, but a little bit goes a long way. So now I'm going to demonstrate for you how I've been using this color corrector and I'll show you when I wearing the corrector and when I not wearing the corrector. So the only thing that I have on my skin is my moisturizer. So I'm just gonna lightly pick up a little bit of product and I'm just going to just start dabbing it underneath my eye. And you can see the, uh, the darkness, the blue color is pretty much gone. I'll just put a little more on. And you can see the difference, like it lightens the area under my eye, it lightens it up. And you can see the darkness in, underneath this eye that I have not touched yet. And it just really brightens my eye. Now I totally go around wearing just this and no foundation because most days I don't wear a foundation. So if you're like me, I mean, I, I could, uh, you know, happily go about my days just wearing this. So now let's do the other eye. So there you can see both of my eyes, what they look like with the color corrector on underneath. And to me, I'm happy with the way they look, but after I put my foundation on, if I wanted to put on a concealer on top, I could go ahead and do that. Another question that I was asked about this color corrector, in the video that I, where I gave you my first impressions on this, I used it to cover up that red spot. It didn't completely hide it, but Again, for me, I like light coverage foundation, so I'm not going for full coverage. So again, I could happily just use this to cover up that red spot. But if you're looking for something, I guess, to really hide it, 
you would have to go in with your concealer just to hide any redness. But I've seen pictures on the Sephora website where people have reviewed this and they have used it for like uh, darkness and discoloration and they're saying that they just use this product. So whether or not they put a concealer on over it, I can't speak for them, but I'm just telling you what my experience is. So now I'm going to film another video where I am talking in depth about the new Estee Lauder Futures Foundation that I picked up in the Sephora sale. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will and click that notification bell so you are notified whenever my new videos drop and you can expect to see my full review on this Estee Lauder foundation in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.